If you don't know me, my name is Taranjit Singh Rai, and yes, I'm an award-winning scientist, teacher, lecturer, and a football coach. What I'm not is a financial advisor. Also, recently, there have been new guidelines from UKFCA, so we need to be very, very careful in what we promote and what we talk about. According to these guidelines, crypto is a casino, it's a gamble, everything can go down to zero, and this is exactly what I'm going to say to you, that investing in crypto is very, very risky and everything can go down to zero. Uh, this is all research. This is all education. Nothing should be construed as financial advice. Now, if you look at all of the crypto market, of, of course, Bitcoin has been performing really, really well. The free fear and greed index is up to 77. Uh, these are the days when I really don't uh, invest in anything. I just wait for retrace. Most of the supply of Bitcoin on exchanges, that's the only liquidity majority I think around 15 million bit total Bitcoin has not really moved. So people are hodling. Uh, it will be very difficult to get this Bitcoin off uh, the people's hands. Uh, Larry Fink might <laughs> get himself arrested uh, just to drop the whole market, but it's it's not really happening. So I think the retest around 30K level is still on. Um, so uh, I am sitting on sidelines. For a thriving blockchain uh, ecosystem, you need to understand the picks and shovels. You need to understand the infrastructure. So the first component of the infrastructure, obviously, is what is, is it, are you harvesting gold? Are you uh, mining rare minerals? This channel is about crypto. Uh, this channel is about blockchains. And one of the blockchains I, I really research uh, deeply is co called Cosmos. So Cosmos is an internet of blockchains. There are many, many sovereign chains which are connected to each other by a communication protocol called Inter-Blockchain Communication Protocol, IBC. Chainlink has CCIP, Polkadot has XCM, uh, so on and so forth. So it is a language via which all the blockchains talk to each other. So the main components are smart contracts. If you do X, you will get Y. So you need smart contract platforms. And I'm gonna talk a old one and a new one on Cosmos. Similarly, you need decentralized exchanges. These are the exchanges where people come and trade things, exchange liquidity, exchange value. Again, in Cosmos, I'm gonna talk about an old one and a new one. Uh, then you have uh, liquid staking. So this is proof of stake. It means uh, people all over the world come together to confirm transactions, to tell whether the transactions are right or wrong. You can think about banks. Uh, banks maintain these ledgers and they pay various companies. That's the same idea. All over the world, people will confirm whether this transaction is correct or this is not correct, so on and so forth. So for these blockchains, uh, there is a mechanism called proof of stake. Bitcoin is proof of work. There are variations to this. There could be delegated proof of stake, so on and so forth, but that's not topic of today. So when you stake your tokens, you kind of lock your tokens. So liquid staking platforms are actually platforms that help uh, liquefy that stake, and then you can use it in various DeFi uh, activities. So for example, on Ethereum, you have Lido. Then you also need perp exchanges. So these are perpetuals. So basically these contracts never expire. Um, and again, uh, this is more degen behavior, but it is also important component of an ecosystem. You need oracles. So these are the protocols that tell the blockchain's exact price of, let's say, token X. So really, really important. Again, Chainlink is an important one. Uh, Pit in Cosmos is important one. But again, I'm not going to talk about oracles today. And then you also have data storage, uh, data availability, so on and so forth. Okay, let's get started. Now you have been educated on what you should be looking in an ecosystem. So let's just quickly uh, look at, I've already told you, there's not much Bitcoin left on exchanges. Basically a pre-ETF approval uh, rally, um, and it could still again test the 30K levels. Cosmos uh, Atom has been doing really well. I think it's just overall a rising tide lifts all boats. There is a proposal uh, which is there to reduce the inflation of Adam by half. Uh, I am, I, I really need to think about it and I, I will talk about it uh, later when we talk about our DAO. But for the moment, I think things are on right track as far as Adam is concerned, but it may impact other things in Cosmos ecosystem, which I will talk later. So I said smart contract platforms as number one. So the older smart contract platform on uh, Cosmos is Juno. It has it has really tanked. If, if you look at a year, uh, maybe all performance here, from the highs of $45, it is really, really uh, battered and beaten, but it is showing signs of uh, improvement. The DAO model is actually Juno's main contribution, I would say. So uh, Juno is the uh, the daddy of, of smart contract platforms in Cosmos ecosystem. Okay, the new kid on the block is Neutron. Neutron is again, a very, very impressive protocol. Binance has already invested in it. 
Binance have now listed Neutron and that resulted in it pumping up to, I think, 50 uh, cents level. So it has a lot of tokens. It has 1 billion tokens, but I think over a period of time, it will uh, perform very, very well. It also has burn mechanism. So a part of transaction fees uh, in Neutron are, are burnt. They are very, very low. It's a very, very new project, very, very risky project. But if uh, CZ uh, invests in something, I'm pretty sure he has done a lot of research. So uh, keep an eye on Neutron. Also remember, you need to know about token unlocks. Again, when I chat uh, DYDX today, I will mention that. But uh, all team tokens are locked for a year. So you need to know when the project launched and when all the team, not, not necessarily that the team might not sell, but still a large proportion of tokens when they come out, Binance might sell, you know, for example. Okay, so yeah, keep an eye on Neutron. It's a smart contract platform. Duality is a chain that is coming. It will be a massive ecosystem. Okay, now the next picks and shovels are the decentralized exchanges. So the old decentralized exchange, the D leading decentralized exchange on Cosmos is Osmosis. Again, battered, very, very badly beaten uh, from its all time highs of, I think I think it will recover. Uh, the, the, the new uh, proposals uh, have decreased the inflation and also the stakers of Osmo are gonna get a cut of the fees. And it's a really very widely used exchange. So I think we have a clean 10 to 15 X if we reach all time highs. And I think this is possible. So that's the, the older version, the new kid on the block, which is uh, uh, X Terra Luna uh, ecosystem is now trying to find its feet is Astroport. Neutron, uh, I think will absorb Astroport. Astroport will probably have a lot of liquidity capture. Uh, we are earning Astroport, uh, Astro tokens, uh, from various LPs. So we have Neutron USDC LP, for example, on Astroport. We also had, which I broke recently, Injective, ST Injective uh, liquidity on Astroport that earned us a lot of Astro tokens. So keep an eye on this one. Again, it has run quite a bit. Always when things have pumped 100% in a month, always look for retrace. And I think that that is what's going to be true for majority of the picks today. I'm not going to, I'm not here to tell you when to buy, when to sell, but things have pumped crazy way for pullbacks. Now, next for proof of stake blockchains, you need uh, uh, liquid staking platforms. So for Cosmos, you have three main ones, uh, Stride, Quicksilver, Persistence. I would say Stride is the market leader. Before I say anything, actually, I need to tell you that I am actually a Stride ambassador. So anything I say should be taken uh, with that pinch of salt. This, this video is not sponsored by Stride. I have not been paid to make uh, this video. Uh, in fact, because of UKFCA, uh, most of my, I have not accepted any paid videos uh, since that new rules uh, came on. All my Binance affiliate income has gone down to zero because Binance has stopped paying any commissions. So uh, with, with this, <laughs> these, these disclaimers, uh, Stride is the premier liquid staking protocol on Cosmos. It has access of 50 million uh, TVL now. It is making 1 million income every year and that's real yield. So out of 1 million, 850,000 will go to Stride Stakers. So if you're st staking Stride, you're getting around 7 to 8% real income and 15% goes to the hub, which is around 150K if, let's say if, if it is 1 million a year income. Now I can easily think about Stride uh, doing 1 billion uh, TVL. If it is 1 billion TVL, that is close to 20X from here. So uh, this is the way all the major uh, Stride investors think. And this is the reason why there was such big outcry when uh, Vishal proposed that Atom uh, and, and Stride should merge and Stride, all Stride should be burnt, the community went bonkers because community sees the things the way I've just described uh, to you. Uh, with more and more tokens coming, uh, Stride is, it's real yield. It's its a fantastic team. It is a team of builders uh, and, and I, I, I interact with them uh, almost uh, daily basis. Uh, I can tell you from firsthand, again, all of this should not be taken as financial advice and uh, nothing in this video is financial advice. Okay, so that's liquid staking protocols. I have mentioned three. Then you need money markets where people can borrow, lend, so on and so forth. So the premier here is Kujira. There are money markets, there's DEX, you can swap things, maybe not as uh, cheap as Osmosis, but you can borrow, you can lend um, uh, assets on this platform. And remember, uh, Kujira uh, also uh, has a UST, uh, the native UST, also USDC is coming to Cosmos via Noble. So there is actually pro the previous pain point of Cosmos was people had to bridge liquidity. For example, once I bridged some um, USDC from Ethereum to Cosmos, 
uh, using XLR bridge, it cost me $80 to just bridge, which is insane, which is unacceptable in modern blockchain world. So a lot of liquidity flows into Cosmos via Kujira. They have uh, Orca, they have Fin, uh, there are so many other protocols, sub protocols that I'm not gonna talk today, but keep an eye on this one. It is also, uh, I would say, premier protocol. Another money market is Nolus. And again, we uh, bootstrapped uh, this protocol using StreamSwap. And I think we are uh, break even uh, at this stage. What Nolus does is a smart contract platform. It will 3x your assets. So you can actually, let's say, if you have capacity to only buy one Bitcoin, you can actually buy three Bitcoin by locking everything in a smart contract within the platform. So you think about it as a 3x leverage. But the difference is everything is on chain. Uh, everything is controlled by smart contract. If you want to increase your exposure, let's say if you think Adam uh, will, will 3x, you can actually open a lease position on Nolus. And then um, when Adam does that 3x, uh, you have that sweet uh, 3x gains. Everything is in smart contract. The thing I don't like is you can't take away assets uh, to other platforms, but that's fine. Uh, I think this is more, I would say, safer uh, route uh, to increasing your exposure because the risk of liquidation is very, very low. It is 40% less as compared to any other borrowing and lending protocol. You can also supply USDC. So it is beautiful. The, the mechanism is pretty beautiful. Uh, we are getting, I think, around 6% uh, APR on USDC, which is amazing. And on top, we are getting 14% in NOLUS tokens also uh, on, on top of that, which is, I think, fantastic. And it is all real yield because they have a buyback. So the reward pool is from the fees the protocol generates, it goes, buys NOLUS, and then that NOLUS is distributed. So again, a fantastic blue chip protocol. These guys have traditional finance experience, about 15 years, the founders, uh, so they know what they're doing. Another money market, again, is uh, Quasar. They have this something called uh, concentrated uh, liquidity pools. Think about it as a hedge fund for your positions. They manage when to buy, when to sell within a vault. And again, very, very good protocol. Uh, we also stream swapped uh, this one. We bootstrap, sorry, bootstrapped on on a stream swap uh, protocol. I think we overpriced is 0.03, so we should be up uh, as a community on on, on this one. Okay, uh, last one today is perpetual exchanges. So D D DYDX is coming soon. Uh, it is one of the largest protocol on Ethereum. This is a big thumbs up to Cosmos Tech because it is moving from Ethereum. Usually, all the liquidity is on Ethereum. Can you imagine the amount of liquidity DYDX will bring to Cosmos? I think uh, this is a really big win uh, for Cosmos ecosystem. Now, I so told you that you need to be educated on, on when the token unlocks happen. First of December, the, the amount that is in circulation, I think the, those are the uh, total number of tokens that will be unlocked on first of December. So if the price tanks, I would say that is a fantastic opportunity for us to DCA. I think it is now available on Osmosis, uh, most likely. I haven't bought it yet on Osmosis, but I have it on other platforms. Recently, we had a massive launch of a modular blockchain called Celestia. Again, uh, this is taking blockchain concept to next level. Celestia will be very, very fast chain. Uh, it separates the execution layer um, and the consensus layer. I think, again, uh, we had a massive airdrop of this. And yeah, I am not complaining. That's all I have to say. Quick fire, uh, 10 minutes, maybe, I don't know, 10 tokens for you to research, for you to uh, learn about. Um, that's all for today's video. Uh, I want to know your thoughts. So please do leave these thoughts in comments. The video will be available on Twitter. The video will be available on YouTube as separate uh, videos. So please comment your thoughts. And let me know whether this strategy of understanding the blockchain whole ecosystem, trying to get into picks and shovels is a good one or not. And with this, I'll see you in the next video.